Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I'm Randy and this is a thread that was started and I, I know I haven't done a video for a while and I've, <laughs> I think I've said that the last few videos I've done. Just had a lot of things going on, but uh, we'll go to get into that. But I'm gonna try to do my best. Uh, but I saw several people uh, do this thread. I think it was started by Chris Profi and it was to show five uh, great instrumentals. And so I chose uh, five instrumentals from groups that really aren't known as instrumental groups. Uh, these are all five rock instrumentals and might as well get right to it. From the great concept album by The Who, its course is Tommy uh, from 1969, of course later made into a movie, about the deaf, dumb, and blind kid. And right after uh, Amazing Journey on this is a song, Instrumental Sparks, which uh, kind of highlights John Entwistle's bass and Townsend's guitar. And you also get to Entwistle on the French horn, just a great instrumental track off Tommy. Next from 1986, it's the Concrete Blonde debut. And they've got a song True, also called True 2, because th there is a the title, the not title track, the opening track is True, which is a lyrical song that, uh, and this is really kind of just a reprise of that tune, but an instrumental version, but it's really catchy, uh, written by James Mankey, who was the guitarist. Of course, they had the great female singer, Jeanette Napolitano, Nap Napolitano, excuse me. I can say her name right. This is kind of cool, and then it came with the lyric sheet and cool different artwork here. Uh, they were on the IRS label. So Concrete Blonde, that's my second one. Next, and I don't really know a lot about uh, progressive rock, really, but this is what I think of when I think of progressive rock, and it's Emerson Lake and Palmer. This is their album, Brain Salad Surgery. Kind of opens like that. And there's the album on uh, Manticore. It took me a while to find the song here. And it's, the song I'm going to do is Takata, which uh, it's a rock arrangement of a classical piece composed by Alberto Genestera. It's, and it's also got this wild use of electronics. It was arranged by Keith Emerson, it says right there. But yeah, Emerson, Lake and Palmer, Takata. That's my third instrumental, a great Great piece to listen to. Next, from 1969, the Peter Green era of Fleetwood Mac. And this is the album, The Pious Bird of Good Omen, which is called a, a compilation album, although there's no songs from the first two albums on there. It's like uh, sing UK singles and B-sides, and I think some extra tra other tracks, but there's a song called Albatross, which is just a beautiful tune. It was released as a single. Uh, he was reportedly influenced by uh, Santo and Johnny's Sleepwalk, which was a number one hit earlier in the 60s. Uh, it's kind of this relaxing, soothing tune with some pleasing guitar reverb on it. But yeah, Albatross, uh, Fleetwood Mac, great tune, great instrumental. I'm always forgetting to show the label that uh, pious bird of good omen with Mac Peter Green album. It was on the Blue Horizon label. This was a later reissue. Uh, I'm glad they reissued these because they, especially the debut was getting hard to find. And last but not least, the psychedelic classic Surrealistic Pillow by the Jefferson Airplane. And I'm going to pick the song, uh, if I can find it here, Embryonic Journey. And they were on the RCA label, although this was a 69 repress, the 
original, I think I had a black label. But uh, the song was composed by Yorma Kalkoan, and it's been used in quite a few movies. Uh, I think they may have been watching a lot of YouTube videos from Brian's Embryonic Robot channel. That's where they got the title. I'm not sure about that. You, you can fact check me if you want. But anyway, that's my five. I hope everyone's doing well, and everyone take care.